What's up YouTube, I'm Mike and today I'm back with another Matrix Revealed video. I know you guys have been trying to get me to talk about the, uh, what I think, well, about 9-11 and the obvious conspiracy theory that, that surrounds those events. I still may do that. The, the thing is, it, it's, it's like a low, it's a high risk, low reward topic. You know, people are either going to agree or they're not going to agree, and it just gets a lot of bad, a bad uh, heat on you, honestly. Uh, instead, what I want to talk about, which is a much more viable thing that actually fucking matters, not that that doesn't matter, it matters a lot, but there's not a lot, there's not a lot we can do about that. One of the biggest hoaxes being perpetrated on the American people and, and the people all around the world right now is the climate crisis hoax. Now, before a bunch of you fucking check out, let me let me let me clarify something. There is a climate crisis. There's a fucking the, the climate crisis actually is far worse than you think it is. It's actually far worse than the politicians are telling you. So there's a lot of climate deniers out there, and primarily climate deniers are people who don't think climate is changing for human for human causes. Those people are more or less right. But the climate is changing, and it's probably going to kill all of us, honestly. Um, I think it's probably the number one reason that Elon Musk is so desperately trying to build. Like They, they, they reported the other day he's trying to build like, like insane numbers of starships very rapidly. He wants to get to Mars tomorrow. And I believe that the real reason for this is, is what they're not telling us, which is that the human species evolved in the middle of the last ice age. Our species evolved on this planet when the planet was unusually cold. It is typically much warmer, about 10 degrees warmer, all you know, average across the across the globe than it is currently. So when the scientists tell you that a three degree rise in global temperatures would be catastrophic, you know, like three degrees would make fucking like Miami part of the ocean. Um, the reality is we're probably going to experience in the next relatively short period of time a much higher rise in, in temperatures than that. And so when when they yammer on about trying to reduce carbon emissions and they and they they talk about how we're creating all these problems there there's a truth buried in a the lie there. The truth is that if we don't stop uh the rise in CO2, if we don't stop climate change, it it is either A going to kill us all off or B it is going to irrevocably change the way we live. Like certain portions of our planet are likely going to become uninhabitable or I mean dystopian, okay? 10 degree change in climate is catastrophic. And for the climate to go up for the for the overall climate to rise 10 degrees, if you look at climate chart, everything I'm telling you could verify very simply, like this is not even on conspiracy theory websites. Like if you just look up you know, the history of ice ages, the history of global earth temperature, you will see that there are extended bands where where the average temperature is like 70 degrees. I forget the exact number, don't quote me. Where it's about 10 degrees warmer average globally than it is now. And those bands extend for very long periods of time. And then there's these little spikes that we call ice ages where where the temperature plummets and then comes back up, okay? So we, we evolved on the upside of an ice age. So temperatures are going to continue to rise and it doesn't matter whether you drive a fucking Tesla or you drive uh, a fucking F-250 gas guzzling pickup like I do. So there's all of these idiotic things that are being done in our societies trying to solve a problem that either A is not solvable or B is certainly not solvable in the in the ways that they're trying to do this. So what we're talking about actually today is the ban on plastic bags. But before I get to that, there was already a previous attempt at correcting climate change. Um, that happened in our lifetime. If you're if you're my age or older, you'll recall that there was times where you used to go to the gas station 
And when you bought gas, it was crazy. It was like 97 cents a gallon, and it just said unleaded. And then at some point, you started seeing that the gas was unleaded, and it had up to 10% ethanol in it. The reason for that is because these fuckhead, lying-ass uh, scientists who were really just paid by corporations to, to bullshit people said that fossil fuels were causing climate change. They're not. So they said, okay, what we're going to do to prevent this is that we're going to burn less fossil fuels. So we're going to grow corn and convert that into ethanol and add it into gasoline so that now you've reduced, it's 10%. So it's negligible because for one reason, cars can't handle high levels of ethanol. Well, cars can, but that's a different, that's a different topic. So, <clears throat> so they started putting all this ethanol in the cars. Well, you know, ideas are quick and science is slow. And so over the course of like 50 years with a bunch of studies and research, lo and behold, they found, they found out that growing corn and turning it into ethanol produced more CO2 emissions into the environment than the fossil fuels by themselves. So they actually made the problem worse than better. But of course, it was really great for all the special interest groups that got fucking paid and all the people who invested in corn and ethanol right before they put all this shit into place got rich as fuck. And that's what all of this ultimately is about. Really, really rich, smart people know how to manipulate the economy. They know how to create fake disasters. And then they know how to create fake solutions. And they invest in the solution before it's become accepted by the scientists. And then the scientists come along and go, yeah, 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 put ethanol in there. The fucking value of corn goes through the roof. And all of these dickhead politicians who predicted this and put it into motion get fucking rich. That's how you have politicians that go into office and they have like my net worth. And somehow four years later, after being a public servant, they're worth tens of millions of dollars. This is how they accomplish that. So one of the most recent idiotic, idiotic fuck ideas that happens, where, where do you think this happens? In liberal fucking states. That's where it happens. It's always the liberals. I keep telling you the liberals are destroying our fucking planet with their inane, idiotic fucking ideas. So the liberals decided that what was destroying the fucking planet was plastic. Plastic's destroying the planet. We've got too many plastic bags and we have to reduce this fat, this plastic footprint. We've got to get all this plastic out of the environment because it's creating all this pollution. So states like the god awful state of New Jersey, I can't imagine why anybody would live there. I'm from the South, so of course I'm going to say this. New Jersey in 2022 banned single use plastic bags. This has happened in liberal states all over. It's, it's in Washington state total fuckhead place to live. Um, so all of these libtard states started banning uh, uh, single-use plastic bags and they replaced them with reusable bags. So here's how stupid these fucking people are. They said plastic was destroying the environment. So you can't have single-use plastic bags. Instead, what you have to use, what you have to use, is reusable plastic bags. So let's just think for a second. Let's just think for a second. You don't have to be a genius to do this math. Okay, well, let's think. So you've got a, pla a single-use plastic bag that is so thin that nine times out of ten, the, bo the bottom falls out of it while you're trying to carry your groceries into the house with this fucking thing. And we're going to replace these really, really micro thin plastic bags of which you might use 10 or 15 when you go to the store with a durable, lastable, reusable plastic bag that's supposed to offset this damage. Well, the problem with this logic is that they, that the reusable plastic bags consume 15 to 20 times more plastic to make a reusable than to make a disposable bag. Well, the logic was that, yeah, it's okay if it uses 15 to 20% more plastic if, they, if they're constantly reused. 
But this is this doesn't happen in practical application. You order groceries to your house and they can't use plastic bags anymore, so they start coming in all these reusable bags. People buy reusable bags and then they forget them at home and they get to the store and then they get more reusable bags. Or they get a reusable bag, for example, and they go to Walmart or Costco or whatever, and they buy a bunch of meat and they put the they put the meat in the bag and the meat juice leaks out in the bag and now you've got potentially E. coli infested plastic bags that you either then have to rent, sanitize before you reuse them again or you end up just tossing them. And so what they found is that on average, people only use a reusable bag two to three times before they get rid of it or store it or whatever. So you've got a plastic bag that uses 15 to 20 times more plastic than a disposable and you only get on average two to three uses out of it, it doesn't take a fucking astrophysicist to see that this math is not working out for us. So, lo and behold, they did some research and they found out that according to a new study released on January the 9th by Fredonia Group, 50, 53 million pounds worth of plastic shopping bags were used in New Jersey prior to the state ban. So when everything was normal, before the libtards fucked it all up, 53 million pounds of plastic was being used in the state of New Jersey on plastic shopping bags. After the ban, that figure rose to 151 million pounds of plastic. It increased three times. They're estimating now that, this, that the ban on plastic bags in the state of New Jersey alone created 200% more pollution than the disposable plastic bags were created. This is exactly the same thing they found when they tried to put ethanol in cars. The ethanol was a greater problem than the gasoline. This is what we figured out with the jab. The jab caused way more problems than it actually solved. This is, this is a toxic thing that's going on in our world right now. And this is driven by capitalism and greedy motherfuckers. These people don't actually have an interest at making the world better. That's just what they tell you so that you will buy their bullshit and so that you will buy their product that they have invested in so that you will get the value of their investment to go up so that they can continue flying around the world in private jets which pollute disproportionately higher than most any form of fucking travel. So these people talk out of both sides of their faces and you liberals just keep soaking this shit up. You keep buying this bullshit. You keep pretending that your liberal politicians care about you, care about the environment, care about the future of your children, care about starving people in Africa. These people do not care about anyone but themselves and you should take with a fine grain of salt any fucking idea they put forth especially about climate control because what they know categorically is that the only way to prevent climate there really isn't honestly besides terraforming we're fucked y'all need to y'all need to pull your head out of your asses and figure out we're fucked it's going to continue to get hotter around here these these unbearable summers we're having they're they're not going away they're going to get way worse because the planet is trying to go back to the state it wants to be in they're telling you that the that, that where things are going are bad for the planet no, th th this, the planet is going back to normal, which is really bad for us. We came on the scene at a really unfortunate period of time. So the only way we're going to be able to stop this is to figure out a way to stop the planet from doing what it wants to do, what it's been doing for millennia before we got here. So we, we have to have a state of not only creating no CO2, we have to start sucking CO2 out of the atmosphere in massive fucking volumes or we're all fucked. All fucked. And so the likelihood of that happening 
is very low and the really really smart people know this and so they're trying to get the fuck off of what is becoming a very very hot rock luckily i will probably if i live to see the the, the full outcome of this it'll probably be toward the end of my life but if you've got young children right now like i do the the future is in their hands we, we need some really smart people to either figure out how to stop the planet from being the planet it wants to be or how to get us off this rock or do something really remarkable or we are going to go the way of the fucking dinosaur. At a bare minimum, Earth in a in hundred fucking years might look like something we see in science fiction movies where everybody's wearing spacesuits and living in like air, you know, airtight, you know, geodesic dome construction, you know, habitats because going outside will be fucking excruciatingly hot or desert or droughts or God knows what. So if you doubt anything that I'm saying, feel free to do your research and you will find out that where the planet is going is not into a state that we're creating. It is going back to the state it naturally existed in. And we are just trying to stop the inevitable. And every one of our efforts, like the plastic bag agenda and the fucking, you know, electric car agenda and the ethanol gasoline agenda, these things are all flailing, desperate attempts that will not save us. They will only line the pockets of all the people who have invested in those things at the expense of our fucking misery. That is all that's happening. It's all that ever happens. The powers that be do not give a shit about any of us. So, if you wanted a conspiracy theory video, there you have it. Do some research. And you will find out that um, you better be like me. If you got some retirement money, you might want to use that shit. You might want to go check out Glacier National Park while you still fucking can. Because the glaciers are melting. And so some of the really, really beautiful places that exist in our world right now may not be here in all reality in a few fucking generations. So by the time you decide to retire and go see and do some of the things that you've been wanting to do all your life, you literally may not be able to. So there you have it. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.